During the last 60 years across the globe, the number of people living over the age of 65 has doubled, and in Japan, more than a quarter of the population is 65 or older. People are living longer and, above all, living better. In Japan, the newest technologies have inspired public and private sectors in the field of health policies and innovation to provide older people a better quality of life. An ageing society is a serious challenge for healthcare systems. Solutions delivered by Japan were at the core of an international summit in Tokyo, which gathered worldwide medical experts, public officials, startups, and foreign delegations. A digital care system has been the center of the Japanese strategy, merging medical data and technology. I'm totally impressed by what's happening in Japan here. The benefits of digitization, the benefits of artificial intelligence, for our citizens and our societies will be greatest in the way of improved healthcare and improved health in the distant future. So, but this requires that we have a good uh, relationship with our own data. Japan is establishing a new regulation to allow public and private sectors to use anonymously processed medical data. To see how this digital transition has been implemented, we went to the University Hospital in Kyoto. The collection of records begins from the patient's bedroom. Nurses pass on information straight to the servers, such as blood pressure, heartbeat, body temperature, clinical tests and treatments. Processing this cluster of data allows medical care to be more precise and more efficient. It also provides insight on how the healthcare system is managing and what's driving medicine production. We collect data to understand what is happening in this country and what kind of medical treatment we provide. By using this data, we can see the different treatment and care. We make this data anonymous and the government prepares a system to share it with everyone. Then, through this system, the private sector can use the data in order to create new drugs and treatments. Japanese healthcare insurance relies on billions of data from more than 126 million citizens. It's a unique set of data which could be a source of opportunities even outside the country. More than 95% of the Japanese population's care content is covered by data elaboration. There is a trend to using both medical treatment and nursing care data as a whole package for digital health care. Japan is a super aging society, and I think that our knowledge in this process could be a reference for many other countries in the world. The digital care innovation process has generated important business opportunities for Japanese private medical companies. For example, Sompo's Future Care Lab project is developing cutting edge technologies to address the needs of the aging society. Products such as an artificial intelligence wheelchair, which is able to move autonomously on a pre-selected path, a convertible bed, body sensors for bath and bed, can all help elderly people live more independently. Japan is a super-aging society, and by using technology we can reduce the burden of care workers and also improve the productivity of their work. For example, to reduce the tasks of the caregiver, one of the solutions is the assisted bed. It reduces the burden and reduces the number of carers for one person. Beyond the high-tech solutions, the human factor is still important. The interaction between the patient and carer can facilitate good health. This is the case with a virtual reality headset developed by Silverwood Corporation. By simulating what it's like to have dementia, it helps provide an understanding of the effects of the disease and help in their treatment. We do not want caregivers and patients to be divided. 
We would like to create a responsible relationship in which both need each other. This is a way which exactly reproduces the world as it is perceived by patients with dementia. We can experience it through virtual reality, which then makes us understand the pain and the difficulties of these people. So this technology allows us to feel all that. A caregiver working in this care house in Tokyo has appreciated the educational value of this VR device. I felt I've learnt much more about dementia than I would do through reading textbooks. The high-quality Japanese medical data could now trigger international business opportunities. Successes of the approaches in Japan will be infectious and will motivate citizens to embrace uh, the concept so that we will, throughout Europe, throughout uh, the developed world and the developing world, will have a unified approach going forward to digital health. International collaboration will be key to maximize the potential of digital health innovation and prepare a future society with a 100-year life expectancy.